Hey, what's up fellow Minecrafters and welcome back to Neon Rick's Vampire Minecraft Let's Play and today we're gonna get right to it because I've talked to a good friend of mine the Savage Savvy and he says I need to quit dicking around so much so that's what we're gonna do today I believe the sun's just now going down so we're going to check this out in a minute we're gonna go out here and I need to find some sugar cane pretty bad and I know I have water in this direction so we're gonna head right on over uh, before I even go too far, let's do this. Not going to be screwing around this time. There we go. Been doing a few things around the vampire lair. I'll let you all check it out here in just a minute. I actually got a couple cows in just to get the uh, breeding going. Get our leather and such. And I already hear a zombie. Hey, buddy. And that's what I'm looking for right here. If I'm going to get any enchanting done, I'm going to need some bookcases. So this will be a nice start. I'll leave those there just in case. Need to get a little later. So, today we're going to finally put Piggy over in his cage. Uh, I got a suggestion from the Savage Savvy. He thinks that I should name the pig Pancake. And seeing that he's the only suggestion, it appears my pig is going to be named Pancake. But, seeing that he is made of bacon, it only makes sense, I guess. So let's head on back. And we will check out what I got going on. And one of the first things is going to be getting, hey cows, is getting our piggy in the cage. I'm sorry, in his pig pen. Let's see if we can't get a couple more baby cows going. And I put up a few fences here so we can direct him right on in there. Uh, whoops, I didn't want to take that one out. If I had a carrot, we could make this a lot dang easier. Okay, here we go. Come on, pig. Come on, pig. There he goes. Oh, shit. <laughs> that worked out wonderful. Um, damn it. Okay. So, uh, possibly make a lead and get him in there. Okay, so this was absolutely useless. Fantastic job there. Uh, pig, look, look, look over here. No, okay. So, I finished up his pig pen, and here it is. Uh, I got rid of the water pool. Don't really need it there. I uh, thought it looked better right here in the middle. Little tree. Pumpkin lighting. It's a very nice pig pen. Pig. You should you should come over. You should come over here, man. You should go go over over to the to Don't judge me, pig. Jesus. Okay, so we'll get him in there later. Uh something else I wanted to work on today is uh our storage is absolutely minimal at the moment. And uh, the way I'm dropping the floor four or five blocks, it's out of reach. So I figured we'd come over here and start a storage room. And uh, the way I work my storage room is a tad different than I I see online a lot. So let's dig right here. Oh, what's the... Oh, no. Yeah, I've already dug this hole to save a bunch of time. So what we'll do is we'll get some, some chests, some item frames, and I'll show you how I set my... Uh, my storage room's up. Yeah, you might like it, you might not. But like I said, I don't see it a lot on the internet, so I just thought I'd offer another way of doing it. So we shift click our chest up here, hollow up top so it'll open, and I can get three rows in, of course. And I do the same here. And then from this side, I take the item frames and shift click them onto 
the ends of the chests. That way we walk in. It's, you know, subcompact, I guess. It gives a good reference of what's in there. If I got stone bricks or whatever. And there. I mean, you know, simple, plain, easy. But like I said, I just hadn't seen it a lot. And then I usually come in the middle of all of them and drop a workbench. And, oh, I forgot my furnaces. And then I usually put a furnace right here. That way, no matter what I'm getting into, if I need to drop something in the furnace, craft something, boom, it's right there. And I'll do that skipping a row, doubling up, skipping a row, doubling up. And then on this side, I probably won't put any just yet because that'll be a lot of chests for now. But I am a hoarder. I'll, I'll have two chests of nothing but cobblestone by the time it's done. So this is all the stuff I actually collected while digging this out. And I want to go ahead and get some of this iron going because I do need to get a anvil so we can name our pig who refuses to go in his absolutely beautiful pig pen that we created. Pancake. Hey, buddy. I think he heard me. So another thing that was on our list was uh, collecting resources. So what I did here was... I worked my way down on this side, didn't have nothing going on on this side of the base, and I went ahead and dug my stairway down to do my strip mining, and I'm sure you didn't want to watch me digging a gigantic staircase. So I got it down to level uh, 12, and uh, just, you know, three high, two spaces in between, all the way down, and I also saved all the stuff I collected here. Uh, I found a, I think I found a slime chunk up a little higher. We'll have to see. So I'll start the strip mining, and I won't mine anything that I come across that's super cool without you guys on camera. But I figured I'd get the at least the staircase laid out and the whole strip mine laid out, so we're not just once again digging. But there's something I want to show you here. I was digging through. And I got a lot of moaning. All this was open. I, I added all this stone back in. So I came back here. And the zombie moaning got louder and louder. And louder and louder. And as you can see, I just dropped torches and ran. But right around here. <gasps> child, 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 zombie. No, 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 no. Oh. Creepy ass little guys. Oh, so anyway, yeah, so we have a dungeon down here. And I figure I would uh, wait to check it out until I got with you guys. So that's what we're going to do real quick. Yeah. Try to shut this thing off real fast. Don't think I got to go all the way around, but better safe than sorry. And only one chest. Huh. Well, I thought they normally had two chests, but okay. So, all two name tags. Very nice. And another 418. Sweet. So that makes three name tags all together. And now we have a zombie spawner right close to the house. So I'll definitely have to make that a mob trap. Lots of iron and stuff back here. But I thought that was pretty neat right next to the base be a good spot for a uh, a grinder of some sort maybe I'll do an XP farm but other than that I think what I'll do is I'll do a little ore collecting and get the piggy in her pin and hopefully have enough iron hey there you are come on buddy hey yeah no no <laughs> No! <laughs> Over here, man! Come here! Come here! Okay, yeah, so we'll be back. I'm gonna finish up the uh, supply room, and then I'll get my piggy in the pen. We'll name the piggy together, so we shall return. Hey guys, alright, so here's the partial setup for the supply room. I got uh, most of the chests set up. These two will be coming from inside the atrium. 
and I shortened the room up and went ahead and decided to do both sides. Uh, it just looked more symmetrical. So let's, without further delay, let's make this anvil. Get this set up, and voila. Now, I have never done a name tag before. So I'm not sure. Let's see, just like, oh, enchantment. Oh, I see. Pancake. Pig. And that was the suggestion from Savage Savvy. Pancake pig. I think I'm just going to go with pancake. And there we go. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> Let's see. Do I right click? <gasps> pancake. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely incredible. Okay, do I have any fences on me? I have fences. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes. All right. Hey, Pancake. You wanna, you wanna go in your pen, buddy? Huh? How about we go in the pen? Come on, buddy. There you go. There you go. <gasps> and it's done. Pancake is officially in his pin. Our official vampire let's play mascot is named and housed in his forever home. Yeah, buddy. What's up, buddy? <laughs> That's just about halfway silly. All right. Pancake's done. So this little spot over here, I do believe I'm going to make my little pond area. And as you can tell, I decided against the flower thing. I uh, figure being in a vampire lair, it's probably much better to have mushrooms growing all over the place. They just seem more vampire-y to me. So, pancakes in his cage. Storage room is basically done. I'm going to head down and collect some materials so we can get some clocks made and start with some machinery and I'll relocate all this junk too in between videos I'll breed up the cows uh, get some more leather get some more item frames up so we can finish up the supply room I'm gonna go ahead and harvest all my fruits and veggies down here and uh, it's another thing I gotta get on is automating those farms and that is about it. I think also next time we'll go out and we'll get some spider webs from that abandoned mine shaft so we could uh, jazz everything up. I think I saw some vines in that area also. Uh, a little past where we were at while I was running around, I was reviewing the video, and I think I seen a jungle, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go grab some vines next time as well. So thanks again, guys. Short video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, pancakes in his house, and we are going to uh, maybe get him a girlfriend. Or boyfriend. I'm not even sure what Pancake is. But thanks for joining me, guys. If you like to, give me a like. And if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. I read every single one of them. Have a good one, guys.